<laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> Here is Valentina from Valentina Sugarland. And um, today is part two of our um, hair adorable uh, doll modeling tutorial. Um, now let me just show you is this little doll that we are making last week and also this week. So um, last week we made the body, let me show this one <laughs> and uh, today I will be showing you how to make um, the head for the doll. So I know it's a little bit early this time, <laughs> last time um, we had some trouble and started um, rel relatively late but today on time and hi guys so the the, the first one on uh, already online <laughs> uh, hi hi to Hungary <laughs> I'm um, in Bulgaria currently in Varna on the Black uh, Sea coast and um, yeah some of you maybe know me I'm from Valentina Sugarland I'm a teacher and um, book author of a wonderful um, modeling book, also proud as a Regina ambassador. And um, yeah, today we will be, we will be working with Regina modeling pace, of course. Um, so I think it's time to switch the camera. Um, hi Canada, <laughs> hello, um, to switch the camera settings to, to put everything here in order and start because um, yeah, you don't want to see my face, you don't want, you want to see how I uh, make this um, doll face. <laughs> okay, hi Hamburg, hi Sibylle. <laughs> so um, just let me um, start. I have um I am going to switch the camera like like this. So that's the first and then I want to start my own video in here so I can read your comments. So this one of course. So just no without and just let me put your comment on. So we have Portugal, hi Portugal, and um, yeah, <laughs> some um, uh, countries uh, around the world, isn't it? So wonderful. Um, so just let me arrange the settings in here. Ah, hi Ecuador, buenas tardes. Like this, maybe just few centimeters near to my working place so you can see the Serocino you can see I think it's it's a good one okay yeah the settings are good hi England hi Kim <laughs> so we have uh, yeah a few of uh, uh, you are already uh, there uh, watching me so like I said we want to make this face uh, for the doll for the doll body that we made the last last week and um, you can watch um, the first tutorial is in the video section of Saracino uh, page just you can watch how to make the body today we will make um, on the head so um, now I'm going to start. <laughs> uh, hi, friends. <laughs> hi, hello. Um, so, um, when you are making a um, doll or figurine of this art, this 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 way, the body is very very small and fragile when you want, and the head is very big. Uh, and if you make the head completely out of the paste, you are going to need a very big amount of this paste to make the body. So the head will be, um, 
Хай, Павлета, ено, здравей, здравей. This, this was Bulgarish, everyone, so sorry. <laughs> I will try to keep it um, in English. Um, so you will need a very big amount of, of the paste and the head will be very, very heavy and the balance of your figurine will be off. So it, it will, you, the body is so tiny, so it, it cannot hold the head properly. So in, in such cases, it's important to have something inside the head, something that make it lighter. And um, usually um, you can use styrofoam. I um, took a um, five centimeter uh, ball of styrofoam and glue it with hot glue to a, a barbecue stick. So I have... Um, have it very steady in here it's not moving around or something or falling off so this is inside of the head um, so I don't need so much paste um, to make the head I, I have such like like this ball inside so after you have uh, did uh, this um, you you can go and take um, just let me know like uh, I used 30 grams of the paste I'm using um, here Saracino Pasta model. Um, it is um, this one is white. You can color it with base color to get this shade of brown, or you can use um, some pre-colored uh, paste of the Saracino range color range. We have very many many colors and. And um, sorry guys, my nephew is uh, here saying uh, bye to me, <laughs> he's going home. Um, so um, like I said, uh, or you can use some prepared uh, colors and mix them together to achieve the, the shade, uh, the color that you like. So I, I have already the color for the skin that I want. So now I'm going to measure um, 30 grams, like I said. So, too much. Yeah, it's like, this is enough. You don't need too much. First thing first uh, for you is to knead the paste and make it liable because it's um, when it's in storage it's getting a little bit uh, stiff so you have to, to, to knead and make it liable so you can work with it. So I'm just rearranging a little bit like this. No, I don't see the comments. Why can I cannot be see the comments? I now now I can see the comments. Okay, so if you have questions or something, just ask. I will try to always have a look uh, to the comments. If not, I can answer uh, later after the demo. So first thing, like I said, just knead it and make it smooth and soft, so you can. Put it on the styrofoam. So once you have done this, just make it very thin, like this, and then using some water, I have it in a brush, just applying some of the water in here. And you can just put something here. It's not so, and it's just a few. Just a bit more. So once you did that, place on the styrofoam and start pressing it around and just a bit, little bit of pulling so you can cover the whole styrofoam with it. Like this. On the back, it's mm, you don't have to make it pretty, just make sure it stick to the styrofoam and to 
and just close the gap in here from the paste like this once you did this go and just roll it between your palms let me know if the camera angle is not not optimal or you have trouble with something so I can try and fix it so like this okay like this okay I'm just going to move a little bit more to me the camera so you can better see the whole situation in here just like this okay so after you did this the next thing we will make is the nose the little nose you always can have the the picture of the doll in here and have a look and uh, we also have the possibility now because i have one ready like i said just, just let me make it a little bit smaller and you can always take the one doll and put it like this so you can see hmm? okay now now it's good so now we are starting to use some modeling tools and make the nose in the middle and just press up and then like from here as a, tri a little triangle you will try to make a little triangle in the middle like this Use your fingers, fingertips to press and shape the nose. Also a modeling tool. We don't want to have a big nose bridge because um, yeah, it's like doll face. She uh, she does not have such um, strong um, shape. The shape of her nose is almost very very. I don't know the word. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not so so big, and then you you almost um, don't see it at all. So like this, just press it a little bit down, so it's in the in the middle. You can take off if too big. this okay um it does not look on the picture um hi portugal hi again <laughs> it does not look on the picture um as uh, if she has um mm, not nostrils and and like like the holes for the for the nose so i'll just leave it like this and uh, the second thing we do is the mouth so I'm going here and just making one, two holes, draw a line between them to the lips, like this. Make it a little bit wider, the gap. And then you can use some exacto knife to cut just a few millimeters deeper and just slightly push up so it's open 
just a bit more. Then you can use this size of the modeling tool and form the upper lips. They don't need to be too big, just the small ones. Then you're going to open down the lower lip, just pressing down more in the middle. The um, the corners of the mouth are almost closed. Just press with the tool and follow this line to make the lid. So now uh, when you want to see um, the teeth you need to put some white sugar paste. white you don't need so much just a small piece and um, just try it on sometimes it's too much and you have to take it off cut one piece off and make a little bit smaller you need like like this shape that's like I'm not sure how how it, I can call it with two uh, pointy ends so just put it inside and look I think a little bit smaller would be better so hi Gabriella <laughs> Thank you for watching. So, I think that this is the right amount. So, I'm just putting it inside and using some modeling tools, find the right position for the teeth. It's important that the, that the teeth are deeper into the mouth than the lips. So, you don't want to be on the same level because it's looking very then very strange just deeper so once you put the teeth now you can go can go over the lip, the upper lip and uh, the lower lips sorry and uh, find the final position so you can push it a little bit more and then close and go over the the white piece of, of the paste and then you have the smile of the doll so like this okay now the next thing is using some tools you can press press the paste and then just let me I have here some cornstarch and if you find yourself or your hand sticking to the paste you just go and tap into the cornstarch and use a small amount not too much because you don't want to dry the paste just using here some and making a little pointy chin just pushing the paste from the middle to one side to, to take it away and reshape the head okay like this just use your fingers or also again some tool to push the pace and reshape the lower part of the head like this okay so next thing is to make the eyes. The eyes of um, the hair adorable are very very big. So just making it slightly 
<sighs> smaller yeah so the eyes like I said are very very big you can use something like this to, to put the head in it so it's uh, not moving around and it's easier for you to work on it um, you can use some cutters and something if you have this I um, there are many I um, tools I making tools on the market if you have this big or you can have if you have another shape um, similar to this you can use them on the um, on the dough but also you can go and draw the shape with with a modeling tool so you find the middle usually nose and also the barbecue sticks, sticks are in the middle so you th this is your starting point and then right and left from the from the middle line you go and just make first one one line like this so it's slightly going up go to the side of the head hi germany hi gabriella so and then um on the other side the same thing you can move around so you have it's in the uh, easy for you position and then just go and draw the second one um, I don't make them very deep and um, I just want to have them there and I can have a look and see if they're on the same line and the same uh, white uh, have the same weight white <laughs> So this is the first and then um, if, you, if it's okay you can go on, if not you can always can go and erase them so like this and draw them differently. Of course you cannot erase them and redo them for eternity but yeah some one once maybe. So this is going now up. If you can see it's like more round line you want to make a beautiful tear shape in here like this mm -hmm. I hope you can see this okay And then the second one, like this. And then you can always have a look. If you are happy with them, come the next step. Use this part of the tool and just start pushing the middle part in. Not too deep, you just want to make some eye holes in where you can put some white later. Just press press. You can also use this side to just make them more. Yeah, more, um, I don't know, it's like, you can see not so soft on the edges, it's like more sharp. Okay, and you can see the difference, I hope. Here we press the paste down and make the, the, um, the shape a little bit more edgier. Now, like I said, press, press, press go around and press on the outer line and then you can go with your with 
this side and draw the, the more edgy line like this so you have your eye pocket and the next thing we are going to do is to fill them with some whites okay. for this we will need another piece of the white um, modeling paste Saracino pasta model it's very easy to work with it you can make very detailed faces maybe um, just let me show you a few weeks back I made these faces out of it so there is like tutorial video tutorial on on the Saracino video page too so it's not just for a simple easy to make um, faces for, of a doll you can make very realistic looking figure and um, very detailed one so but for now we are sticking with the simple one for, for the um, yeah for the doll just knead the paste and take off two pieces of it just look if they are almost the same size or exactly the same size <laughs> but a few um, yeah that's like yeah it's all, all the same I think just roll them between your fingers to have a nice shape and then make a teardrop And now you can see it's a small um, when you hold it uh, near the eye pocket but we want we don't want it to be too thick so we're starting and pressing between the two fingers it's not if it sticks to your finger you can just slightly use some modeling knife and just take it away now you can measure one once more and you can see it's it's still a little bit small but um, I think it's the right sh shape because you you're going to just pull here and smooth you don't want to press in the middle just on the edges of the white just pulling to the uh, end of the eye pocket just pulling with your fingers that's the best way to go you can use also modeling tool like this to reshape it again or just pressing a little bit more on point hallo Österreich so many country are watching that's I love it <laughs> that um, so many different time zones are watching in Bulgaria it's like we started at 9 o'clock in Germany it's 8 o'clock and UK is um, uh, 7 o'clock <laughs> p.m. how uh, late is in your countries um, I'm not uh, sure I read Ecuador and Portugal and a few more I, um, so if you like you can just drop a comment and let me know uh, how late is in your country right now so like this you don't want to be too um, much out it should be the same level like the the, the face and in, in the, the skin so the same uh, same here for the second one we are making the uh, teardrop and then pressing and uh, making in uh, flat high Cameroon <laughs> uh, how late is in Cameroon so it's a different time zone I'm not, I'm not sure <laughs> um, so you can always um, put some water in here so it sticks better but if it's hot like in here in Varna is like 30 degree 
not right now but in during the day and um, I'm having my air conditioner on because otherwise it will be not possible to work in the summer so like this I'm placing it and just like I said start pulling um, when you use your fingers the, the result is much softer than um, when you use uh, the modeling tool so such big eyes just ah oh, hi South Africa <laughs> eight four two uh, like um, in Germany <laughs> so South Africa is in here in the house too <laughs> So guys, um, now um, you can uh, Dortmund, Germany, hi Dortmund, um, we can uh, go and um, just have a look and compare if, if the boats are looking similar, the same, uh, if not you can go and just reshape them a little bit still in it's possible to reshape them a little bit i just want or like them to be a little bit point here here to the middle to the nose in the direction to the nose it just hi slovakia <laughs> ah, slovakia is also watching i hope there are a few from bulgaria too they are watching me Bulgaria is my home, uh, my country and homeland. I um, lived a long uh, time in Germany, 17 years. So Germany is uh, very dear to my heart and it's my second <laughs> um, uh, home country. So I, I love them both um, like, like this. So we have uh, the eyes and um, the next thing we will going to do is to put uh, some um, ears for her you don't need them to be too fancy or too realistic it's enough to to have them like hi Sudan <laughs> oh so many different countries I, I like it so I will make two of the um, ears from this um, small piece. Just cut them in half. Hi, Poland. So like this. Okay. And make them like a little small um, tear shaped. Like this. Okay. Oh, I'm losing my ears. <laughs> Okay, so ears, I am going to place them on the side. Just press, uh, just apply some water. Go place the small ear. Press to join with the head. And this is actually enough for a doll. You know, they are not having so much detail, detailed air ears so again small amount of water just press join them together just make them look nice okay so now I'm I don't like this this part so I forgot to make this a little bit flat at the beginning. So now I'm going to just apply some pressure to make it look more. Yeah, it's good. Just the final touches on the face. So maybe some like this area a little bit deeper can use just a little bit of the uh, pointy side to, to go and make them look a little more defined, a little more visible. 
Okay, so this is um, the head so far. The next thing we will going to do is um, to make the eyes completely ready. And for this, like I said, uh, though is um, though face is very um, easy to make. It's just like a very basic shape. Um, but you can make uh, you can make also faces like this with the paste much more realistic you can see but now uh, back um, to our painting so we will need some tools for the painting a piece of paper last time i made the I painted the eyes with um, gel color but I think that they are a little bit dark so today I'm going to use powder uh, and mix it with vodka with some alcohol just let me find the right brushes for this part Here's one, but I will need just one bigger, slightly bigger than this. If this one is good, yeah, I think the two of them are enough. Usually, <laughs> I will go and paint with a very small brush uh, when you paint small eyes. If you are painting <laughs> big eyes just find a slightly bigger brush so it's easier for you uh, so I will need some tooth sticks but she has a blue eyes I'm going to put some blue Color in here. Okay. Then just to make it a little bit more interesting, I think I can use some lighter blue. These are Saracino powder, so you can use them for mixing um, with. Uh, vodka and painting with them we will need some black and we will need some brown she has some brown on the eyelids so just using some brown oops okay I think I am going to start and then add more color if I need them so like I said vodka you can use something like this to just control how much of it you can you're going to put to the paste I usually um, use one here with more amount of vodka, of vodka so I, I can dab my brush in there if needed. So like this, just let me have everything in your side. So now you can um, go and. Um, wet your brush here and then go and mix blue so slightly very very uh, bright one so I'm going to mix both of them like to make the color I like to use I think this is this is okay so now the eye uh, eyes are very very big you can see it's like huge so 
we start and make it just I hope you can see okay we're starting and making something like that just trying to make the really round not oval round so make the same on the other side just compare I'm not sure if you can this is what happened can you see me? I know. Okay. Let's try. It's so funny when you paint you you don't talk so much <laughs> because you have to concentrate it's the same in my classroom when I have my student painting the faces that we have done or painting something else like details there's such a silence everyone is really concentrate and not talking and afraid of trembling so <laughs> It's um, maybe like medita meditation, like this. Okay, just make sure the both of them are same size, looking in the same direction. I guess I'm not not very happy with this part. Okay, so this is going to be now you can go and make them a little bit more interesting using some of the darker blue. Just go with a small. Uh, brush so you can draw better line thinner line you can also leave the head a day or two before painting if you are afraid that you can um, hurt the eyes during the painting but you can see if you are very careful you can paint them right away you can make it even darker by just using tiny bit of black mix it with the black and So I liked it. That's a little bit more 
brighter blue than in the original one that I made first so it's up to you what um, eyes color you like better make them very dark or a little bit more bright so she has uh, slightly um, violet in, uh, mm, spot in uh, her uh, eyes and just let me take a little bit of this one it's um, too dark this one so I'm going to mix it with some white and let me see what's going to be you can wash your brush from the blue And then just put a few drops in here. Mm, that's that's not what I want. Maybe if I, I can just take some of this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I feel a bit more pinkish. Yeah. Just let me have a, a sip of water. Perfect. No, not 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 happy. Hundred percent happy. I think maybe if we, we we can go and put some red to make it more purple. Yeah, we are coming in here. just that um, there was a question about the vodka it's what alcohol alcohol yeah I'm, I'm using just some uh, it's like 37 per, uh, percent or percentage of alcohol oh guys I'm making a mess here I just put the tip of this one into the red color um just let me i'm more slightly more pinkish so like this okay and we go and mix yeah i think this this is better the the shade i like it so you can use this one just go and put in here some some pink We can use the same shade to draw her lips and her eyebrows. So when it is still um, wet, so you can use it right away, or you can come later and put some more vodka, uh, vodka in it. I, I I think lips 
this I can do right now but for the eyebrows I will come later and do it then so the lips cover the lips pay attention to the white of the teeth you don't want lipstick on the hair on your teeth like this okay um so next uh, is the black just put some vodka into the powder and now you can go and make the pupils like this hope you you can see me just a little bit more like this Just make sure they're the same size. And they they look almost the same. And then um, she will have some black eyeline that you can use. This one or the the smaller one to go and draw the eyeline. Starting from here, drawing on the eye. They are really, really big, the, the eye. Like this, going here, down, and then she has. I'm trying to just maybe readjust the camera like this. Okay. Now going from here, can you want to go and make one? not the eyelash it's like a small line up okay the same here like this from down like this and she has also just let me clean my brush some can use some clean vodka in here Just let me a cleanish like this you can make some lid um, some shadow on her lid with brown oh, something is falling down there on the from here like it's it's not 
such yeah um, you can see it it's not too, too dark but, but it's visible it's uh, another little detail you can make make them here just make some shadows for her eyes okay good and then um, what we have to do is the um, oh my god the eyebrows eyebrows <laughs> yeah eyebrows so you can see we can start in here we go up then small small part going down like this And hmm, but I think a little bit more maybe red is the color I don't I'm not entirely happy with it. I, I just want it a little bit more red. So I think this maybe is better for the I think yes. So, maybe a little bit more blue. Okay. I know it's a small difference. Yeah, small difference, but it, it, I like it better. <laughs> so, um, the thing sometimes you have to correct. Like here, the small pink part into the eyes. Maybe I'm just a Um, now you you need some white and clean brush <laughs> this um, it's important just let me grab my brush My brush is clean. Make mix it with some vodka and then go and um, make a few lines of white into the eyes so I think I'm going to put just 
another Y line in here. It's a little bit. I don't want uh, them to be so open. So I'm go. I, I, I'm putting another white line in here of the black, and then it's looking like the lid. It's much bigger. Eyes is closed. Closer, a bit more close. Not so white. <laughs> Just another one. This. Yeah, I like it better. So, okay, the last last thing what we are making with the paint for for now is to use some dry. Um, dust not mixed with vodka to make just here on her cheeks to make it come to life like like i'm always saying in my classes just um make sure you don't go you're directly from the paint to the face just use some paper and then you go and apply some red on the cheeks and here so not too much and the face is done um, the next we are going to attach it to the to the body and put some hair I'm just looking how how late is already just let me make some 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 space here just going to take this away sure there is no paint on this one there's always paint on your work um, sp space after you painted the, the doll so this is the old one Just putting it aside we have we have the body so just a moment I'm waiting to see how good you can see what I'm showing in here so this this is the body and we um, are going to take this one away one thing you can do um, to make it easier for you is to make a mark on the spot here right where the neck is ending just just pull and now you can see how much of the toothpick was into the body of the, the doll so that's the the maximum uh, you can leave in here like this no like like this so this is the point when you go and cut the toothpick uh the the barbecue like this then using some water like 
this. You can just want to press a little bit. Then you can use a small amount of the skin color, make like a tiny sausage and I'm going to show you, go around and join it and smooth it good together. So I'm not sure if you can see, you can just go First, you can use your water brush, so it's enough water in here, and then using a modeling tool just to make the joints between the joint line between neck and head nice and smooth. And not visible, of course. Like this. Okay. So, head is on. And we are going to make the hair next the hair is two part one pink one blue so you you start with pink just Take a small, a small amount like this. Neat, neat, neat. It's like not sure. And then I can I can show you how much uh, I can tell you how big this is. Just let me see. It's like 35 grams, but uh, we I think it's a little bit too big. So we are going to take <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> take 24, 25 grams. So just make it. A little bit bigger like this you can use some modeling pad um, pad make sure your tool is clean no paste skin color paste on it and then starting from here we are going to make some lines Then you need some um, water on the head. I'm going to attach this. Now here the beginning is a little bit too thick, so I'm going to add another line. So 
go like this, in the middle. Just going around. So to the point in here, where you can cut the excess. Not sure how, I think it's a little bit. Uh, just let me press here a little bit higher. So you can see more of my table like this. Like this. You go and go again over the lines. This part. Cut away. So you take another one of it. You are making a sausage from it, like this, and applying some hair texture. the way around around like here and now some of the texture now on the back side will be gone but some of it will be still visible so like this and now she has like like a knot um, hair knot and I'm just going twisting it a little bit round and making like a, this kind of shape and then you can go and cut the excess in here so you have your kringle or your a circle of, of twisted hair and this one We'll go here on the side, just pressing. If you want it to be very secure and you have to transport it and you just not sure how you're going to hold up, you can always put some um, put, uh, pick uh, in it. Otherwise, like this, okay, and just a few more hair strands going around in the twisted knot, just give it some texture using water it's not not a good position to, um, to lowering the, the dough because then the, the head is um, going a little bit twisted hi Costa Rica <laughs> hi how are you how late is um, at Costa Rica um, this you're going to bind this around the knot the excess you can go and cut the back like this and then the same you can do with the blue one I used 
about 24 grams just to have the symmetry I'm going to use 24 here okay it's not a rocket science it should not be so exact but you know like I said we are just kneading it first and then we are going to uh, make some circle shape Yes, modeling pad to make the lines. this okay. and the same here on this side um, just apply some water this go and put the second hair color into the head Maybe like this you can see, not sure. Just moving around, pulling to one point in here where you can cut it. Ah, not, not very visible. Ah, ah yeah, no, I think you can see it. Yeah. So, like this. Then you go and cut the excess go and repair the damages on the hair <laughs> from your finger and from sticking or pressing or something just make sure there is no not a bald spot on the hair like this Okay. And the same here for the for the hair knot. I think the twisted hair knot. You're going to need some of the blue. Make a sausage. this then go and put some texture like this Then, like I said, we twist, 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 and go around to make the uh, slightly smaller. <laughs> so I'm I'm not going to to make another one on the bear because um, I don't want to stretch the time for the demo. But usually I I will <laughs> and. Uh, not not a live demo and if um, I will go and just take a few more what um, you have to do and the knots it's okay it's not not such a big difference you know it's it's going to work 
so just pressing it to the rest of the hair so just like let me show you what I'm making just pressing and then you go and repair the hair structure like this and then you can put hair string around to cover the place where we put the, the, together the two the pieces hair and uh, hair knot so like this Travey ready. Hello. <laughs> so. Lovely Bulgarian cake maker greeting me near me in Bulgaria. So sorry for the um, non language. So like this. Just pull it in. Okay. So you have the um Head and the hair and um, there are two more details on it on her that I, I am going to make them very very quick and um, she has one uh, pastry head <laughs> a cook head not sure how it's exactly called but you can take a small amount and just roll it one side is thicker press with your fingers to make the head top a little bit more wider than the side here just using your fingers to have something like that and then using tools to make the lines you go and draw the lines for the head like I said if your fingers are sticking just use some cornstarch to reduce the sticking not too much so this is these are the lines And like this, just using some water, like this. And we will need a, a stripe to go around, so just roll some blue paste. Uh, yeah, and now I can see me and cut now you can put it around this part just like this I'm going
going to have her standing up because it's impossible otherwise to finish putting that stripe and I'm going to show you cut the excess on the back like this you can um, put some uh, decoration on it I have a small bonbons uh, there or other things and um, the last thing I'm going to show you uh, the whisk the pastry whisk or the cook whisk for the whisk um, I used some gray paste just let me find find the gray paste <laughs> I, I have it here some, uh, somewhere I found here there is a piece left from the last time I just mix some black paste with um, with white in order to get gray so you can use small amount of this and go and make the whisk body or the whisk so like the long tear shape you want to make here I'm I'm going to use toothpick to have uh, support of the whisk just place it in there make the lower part thinner okay rounder bright or uh, uh, wider and rounder on the thicker side that's too much now it's like very big hole so I'm going to just put some water this Okay, again and press so it sticks and don't don't move around you can just twist it a little bit too so this one will need again some lines so it's look like a <laughs> uh, we having a whisk so almost the same as um, um, with the hat actually you make the lines like this okay. it's not 100% realistic looking one you can make such with different uh, yeah, shaped um, strengths and such stuff but um, this is enough uh, for the doll I think uh, we will need some pink for the holder like this just take some pink and of course we have to cut the okay so just go make line go around cover it with the pink cut the excess here row to make it nicer And you can go and put another small, small, small um, piece here to cover the place where both meet. 
just like that. Like this. Okay. And then you can actually go, just let me dab my finger in here, it's very sticky right now. It's very hot in here. <laughs> We have a hair, hair adorable doll and just just place it maybe you can see just place it into her hand A little bit of balance here so it's not fall down okay um yeah i i think the better uh, plan um is maybe to make it just it's not fitting so perfectly so i'm going to make the um this one thinner and cut length away like this so it's it's fitting in her hand because the hand is too small the hole too big so I think now it's better so okay now she is she's holding it uh, last thing is, um, if you like it, of course, uh, put some um, dust on her, some um, pearl powder. So I'm going to make a little bit space here. And then can use a um, brush. Yeah. and then um, actually <laughs> you can put the dust onto the um, uh, on her clothes on her hair like this this is uh, Saracino um, Pearl, um, yeah, pearl powder. So you can see in here and everywhere you want. So twinkle, twinkle, little star. That make that that makes me think of a very very good friend of me, my best friend in, in Germany, Nadine Globig. Twinkle, twinkle. Little star. Oh no, this is falling down because I forgot to put some water into the hand. Just placing the water. Okay, so just let me show you the finished girls in here just a minute guys then you can see the finished dolls hi Christina thank you <laughs> so these are there are two of them right now um, you can see the face is a little bit different uh, that's always um, the case. <laughs> the the faces are always going to be a little bit different. Uh, she's a little bit taller, but it's it's okay. It's not not such a problem. Uh, sorry, guys, <laughs> for my finger. So um, okay, just let me show you my face real quick. 
<laughs> uh, hi everyone, I hope um, you enjoyed the... Um, ooh, I, I just pressed something on my phone. <laughs> I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, the two parts of, of the demos and um, you could learn something from me. I enjoyed showing you um, how to make this a hair durable doll. Uh, looking forward to see your creation. You can um, show them to us at the Celestino page. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice uh, night. Bye bye.